Hello there, this is Asian and I'm gonna show you a little ZVZ action. Uh, I'm playing on the lower left corner and my opponent DZ, he's playing on the top right. I think this guy is from the plat I mean Diamond League because he was slightly favored opponent and I'm on top of the Platinum League so I just guess he's from the Diamond because well I don't know how the favoring is calculated but that's what I think. Here you can see the beginning of the build uh, I make 9 overlord and this is really well I don't even actually do any other way I don't this other guy he he's using the extractor trick he makes 12 out of 10 supply that's kind of nice to can cancel those extractors but I don't think it's worth it uh, uh, I never kind of liked that style when I played in SC1 and I haven't used it in this game either. Here is one important part. You have to be spamming this hatchery and SD, 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 SD as fast as possible because every second counts in this matchup. You have to really keep the edge as... I mean, you really have to use all of those seconds into your advantage. And here you can see I, I make 14 spawning pool. This is... I think you can make like... 13 pool, 14 pool or 15 pool and I like the middle one there so actually my opponent makes the kind of regular 13 pool but he makes his gas kind of late so that's that's really suspicious because as you can see his pool is 70% complete and the extractor is not even gonna be ready when well it's gonna be just ready as soon as pool here you can see um, my own extractor was 15 extractor that's also kind of one late actually two some people like to make even extractor before the pool but in this build order I really need the cast because at this point I have 17 out of 18 and I sent this one drone to make my hatchery this is like this is the like Starcraft 1 I mean brood war play style you make this secondary hatchery in ZVZ to hold number your opponent and as soon as I have the supply free and 150 minerals I make my queen and then I wait for the overlord after the queen now I'm really C blocked but it doesn't matter because I have really nice amount of gatherers and my opponent is just ahead with those zerglings He's actually pumping his army already, which is kind of uncool, and he's making Roach for it. He, he's, um, my strategy in this game is to try to delay the Zerglings as fast as, I mean, as much as possible, because every second delayed is just advantages for me, and here you can see I'm totally failing this. I'm supposed to gather 100 gas, I, ha I gathered 64 too much, uh, that's kind of low. And then I was totally late with the spawning pool upgrade. You have to start this immediately. This is the key to winning with this build. You cannot win without the speed link boost. And now I have just a little arm here to deny the scouts. And my opponent is totally massing up. And but he only has one hatchery, so he he cannot kind of use his all of his money this is this is what I'm talking about I can well after these X pop I will be able to use all of my money and I will have a greater army when he actually comes to my doorstep I'm I'm playing really defensive I don't have too many too many zerglings and not too few this is kind of uh, as you can see well here I'm just macroing a little I have this kind of this is like calculated amount of zerglings you have and then I'm just massing up to the maximum as soon as my my speed is kinda ready I'll be pushing really aggressively and here you can see I already scouted the enemy I know everything he's doing I know he's not really economical he's not really doing much and here you can see how the battle goes when you have speed speed links against roaches or slow links and at this point it's really a good game because 
winning the first battle is usually equal to winning the last battle too because well as you can see my army oh yeah I can use the health keys uh, my army is 605 that's like serious business and now I have I have this little window of opportunity to crush this guy he's kind of panicking at making the spine crawlers and if I was hesitating here I would have lost the game because I don't have any gas or anything I cannot play the end game or mid game with this build the opponent has all the gas he needs and if I would have let him build up or stuff like that he would have won but I played this aggressive attack build which this the idea is to kind of catch the enemy off guard and just crush him with one strike and so, I mean ZVZ is really you have to scout really well use the overload here Put, I mean my second overload is on the left side so it kind of surprises I mean if the first one kind of gets picked out here maybe I cannot see this road warrant and I can use the other one to go here and check out his stuff and this is one important thing do not ever think about do not ever think about fast expanding because it's really gonna kill you my queen here he can um, or she can uh, use this uh, spawn lava ability on both of these hatcheries really fast and effectively the, well it's all about you, you just use the zerglings as much as possible and if you have six more zerglings than the enemy you will win because that's just how it goes GG